Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to use tool-free Ethernet RJ45 connectors, jacks and splice connectors, all based on IDC technology. They make it super easy to replace a broken connector, install a new jack, crimp a new cable or connect two cables, all without a crimping tool. The link's in the description. I already have a bunch of videos on networking, including how to crimp cables with a crimping tool and even how to crimp standard RJ45 connectors using just a flat head screwdriver. These are the most common connectors, and they usually cost around 2 bucks. When I didn't have a crimper with me, I use either a plastic connector or a metal one, depending on the network. The plastic one is simple to use and works great for speeds up to 1 gigabit. The metal version has a fully shielded case, making it ideal for 10 gigabit networks and beyond. This one is my favorite. It looks kind of heavy duty, you can secure the cable with a slot in ring, and I've never had any issues with it. Next we have an Ethernet jack, that works like a standard outlet. You can also attach it to one end of a cable, add an RJ45 connector to the other, and build a simple extension cable. And the last thing I have here is an Ethernet splice connector, which lets you join two Ethernet cables, whether you're placing a damaged section or just extending a cable. Even though these are called tool-free, you still need a few basic tools, like a knife and maybe scissors, or a wire cutter. So, the process is pretty much the same for all of these connectors. There are two Ethernet wiring standards, A and B, and the B is the one most commonly used today. To get started, strip about 1 inch, or roughly 2 cm, of the outer insulation, like so. Next, untwist all the wires and arrange them according to the B configuration. Trim them down. Then lay the wires onto the lacing grooves, like this. And when you close the connector, sharp prongs inside will pierce the insulation and create a reliable electrical contact. Now let's test the cable with the tester. And as you can see, all the wires are connected correctly. These connectors use a slightly different system. They come with a removable lacing cap, where you first insert the properly arranged wires, like this, then trim the wires flush with the edge of the cap, insert it into the connector and push it firmly into place. Then close the connector and attach the strain relief boot. The process is the same for the rest of these, just make sure you always follow the B standard. And double check that the wires don't slip out on the lacing cap. This connector also requires a zip tie, to keep the cable securely in place. The splice connector works the same way, just arrange the wires in the lacing cap trim them and insert the cap into the connector Close one side, tighten the collar and repeat the process on the other end This jack is the easiest one. Insert the wires, trim and snap the cap shut. And as you can see, all the cables pass the test. Thank you for watching.